Welcome to our chilling journey through the corridors of history and horror. We are about to explore to explore the eerie tales of five of the most haunted asylums in the United States. Places, steeped in dark history, are about to reveal secrets. Prepare to step into the shadows of the past where echoes of the tormented souls still linger. Brace yourselves as we are on the brink of a journey that's sure to send chills down your spine. Our first stop on this spine-tingling tour is the Rolling Hills Asylum, established in the early 19th century. Situated in upstate New York, Rolling Hills Asylum was initially built as a haven for the less fortunate. Its original purpose was to provide shelter for the destitute, the orphaned, and the mentally ill. However, the walls of this seemingly benevolent institution conceal a much darker past. Throughout the 19th century, the asylum grew to accommodate an ever-increasing number of patients. The asylum, however, was far from a sanctuary. Patients were often subjected to inhuman treatments, forced to endure horrific conditions under the guise of medical care. Tales of abuse, neglect, and even death soon became synonymous with the institution's name, forever tainting its legacy. Over the years, stories began to emerge of strange occurrences within the asylum's now deserted halls. Eerie whispers in the night, unexplained cold spots and objects moving of their own accord. These inexplicable happenings led many to believe that the spirits of past patients still lingered in the asylum, trapped within its oppressive walls. One such tale tells of a seven-foot-tall shadowy figure known as Roy, who is said to haunt the old men's dormitory. Roy, a former patient, was known for his towering height and gentle nature. Some claim to have seen his ghostly figure wandering the halls, forever lost in the institution that was his only home. Then there's the story of Nurse Emmy, who reportedly worked at the asylum during the early 20th century. Visitors have reported hearing her soft, comforting voice in the dead of night, a chilling reminder of the care she once provided to the patients. And these are just a couple of the many haunting tales associated with Rolling Hills Asylum. Each story, each whispered rumor, adds another layer to the chilling tapestry of this forsaken institution. The echo of despair still resonates within the walls of the Rolling Hills Asylum, a chilling reminder of the past. We move deeper into the darkness to the Forest Haven Asylum, a forgotten place of despair. Tucked away in the heart of Laurel, Maryland, the Forest Haven Asylum was once a beacon of hope for the mentally challenged. Established in the early 20th century, it was envisioned as a progressive institution, designed to provide education and life skills to its residents. But this haven in the forest quickly morphed into a living nightmare. The asylum's initial promise soon faded, replaced by chilling accounts of abuse and neglect. Whispers of overworked staff and overcrowded conditions began to leak from the imposing, fortress-like walls. The residents, instead of finding rehabilitation, faced a grim reality of malnutrition, inadequate medical care, and appalling living conditions. The most vulnerable were often left to fend for themselves, their pleas for help echoing unheard in the gloomy corridors. But the horror of Forest Haven did not end with tales of neglect. The darkest chapter in the asylum's history involves the unmarked graves found on the property. In the late 70s, hundreds of unnamed tombstones were discovered, a silent testament to the forgotten souls who perished within the asylum's walls. The grim discovery sent shockwaves through the community, exposing the true horror of Forest Haven to the world. The asylum was closed down in the early 90s, but the memories of its dark past linger on. Today, it stands abandoned, a haunting reminder of the forgotten sorrow that once resided here. The eerie silence is occasionally broken by the rustling of leaves or the hoot of an owl, but one can't help but feel the lingering presence of those who suffered here. Some say they can still hear the faint cries of the patients, their voices echoing through the decaying halls. Others speak of seeing ghostly figures wandering aimlessly, forever trapped in the purgatory of their past lives. The Forest Haven Asylum, a grim reminder of the forgotten souls who once resided here. Now, we approach the Danvers State Lunatic Asylum, a place where sanity was a luxury few could afford. Perched atop Hathorne Hill in Massachusetts, the Danvers State Lunatic Asylum casts an ominous silhouette against the horizon. Established in the late 19th century, this institution was created with noble intentions, aiming to provide a haven for the mentally ill. But as we delve into its history, we find a disturbing narrative that's far removed from its initial purpose. Danvers Asylum was a pioneer of what's now known as moral treatment, a therapeutic approach that emphasized the importance of a calm, structured environment for patient recovery. However, as the patient population swelled, the asylum found itself grossly underfunded and understaffed. 
This resulted in a horrifying shift in treatment methods. The once tranquil corridors of Danvers became a breeding ground for practices that were far from humane. Lobotomies, electroshock therapy, and forced isolation became the norm. It's said that the screams of those subjected to such brutal treatments still echo through the now-abandoned halls. But the tales of horror don't end there. There are countless stories of apparitions and strange occurrences that have led many to believe that Danvers Asylum is haunted. It's said that the spirits of patients who met their untimely demise within the asylum's walls still roam the property, trapped in a perpetual state of torment. Night watchmen have reported seeing ghostly figures in the windows, while others claim to have heard disembodied voices whispering from the shadows. The infamy of these supernatural occurrences has cemented Danvers Asylum's place in popular culture, serving as the inspiration for several horror films and novels. As we leave the chilling tales of Danvers behind, it's impossible not to feel a sense of unease. This institution, once a beacon of hope for many, descended into a house of horrors, leaving behind a legacy steeped in pain and suffering. Danvers State Lunatic Asylum, a chilling monument to the horrors of the human mind. From the plains of Kansas we journey to the heart of the bluegrass state, Kentucky. Nestled in the rolling hills we find the notorious Waverly Hills Sanatorium. Originally built to house tuberculosis patients, the sanatorium soon became a house of death, with estimates of the deceased running into the tens of thousands. This grim past gives the sanatorium its chilling reputation. As we step into the shadowy confines of the sanatorium, the air grows heavy. It's like stepping through a veil, into a world where time stands still. The narrow, dimly lit hallways are filled with an unnerving silence, broken only by the occasional whisper that seems to emanate from the walls themselves. Each room, each corner holds a story, a faded memory of those who once called this place home. The infamous room 502 is said to be haunted by the spirit of a nurse who took her own life. Visitors have reported seeing her spectral figure, hearing her desperate cries. Then there's the chilling death tunnel, where bodies were discreetly transported away from the sanatorium to avoid alarming the patients. It's said that the spirits of those who passed away within these walls are still lingering, trapped in an eternal loop of suffering and despair. As we leave the chilling confines of Waverly Hills Sanatorium, we carry with us the silent whispers of its haunted past. But remember brave souls, not all whispers are meant to be heard, until our paths cross again, tread lightly on the echoes of the past. Let us traverse the haunting memories of the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, a chilling relic of our past that casts long and terrifying shadows. Situated in the heart of West Virginia, this formidable structure stands as a dark testament to our history. Constructed in 1864, it was once the dwelling place for thousands of patients, many of whom underwent harrowing treatments and ghastly experiments. Meandering through its abandoned corridors, one can almost hear the resonating despair and the ignored pleas for help. The asylum is believed to be haunted by the spirits of those who endured torment within its walls. Visitors have reported uncanny sightings, disembodied voices, and a sensation of being observed. It's a place where the past persistently resurfaces, each shadow narrating a story, each corner concealing a secret. The Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum remains as a harsh reminder of the cruelty that was prevalent within these institutions, a chilling testament to the tortured souls who once found solace there. As we delve deeper into this abyss of darkness, let us not forget the echoes of despair and the resilience of the human spirit. Until our next chilling encounter, courageous hearts, remember to keep the lights on and the shadows at bay. Today we delve into the haunted past of the Topeka State Hospital, a place shrouded in unseen horrors. Erected in 1872 in Topeka, Kansas, this establishment once held the promise of refuge for the mentally ill. Yet beneath its facade of care and treatment, it hid a dark underbelly of inhumane practices and unthinkable abuse. The hospital notoriously administered controversial treatments that were more akin to torture than therapy. Electroshock therapy, lobotomies, and prolonged periods of isolation were inflicted upon the helpless patients. Their cries of agony echoed through the desolate corridors, their pain embedded into the very foundation of the building. The chilling tales of abuse and neglect from Topeka State Hospital's past are not for the faint-hearted. Patients were frequently left to languish in their own filth, ignored by the very people pledged to care for them. Their pleas for help were disregarded, their suffering a silent symphony of despair that still reverberates within walls. Even today, the spectral evidence of these forgotten patients persists. Visitors have reported unexplained phenomena, 
from chilling whispers to fleeting shadows, as a ghostly testament to the unseen horrors that transpired here. The hospital may be deserted, but it is far from vacant. It is a place where the past refuses to be silenced, where echoes of pain and suffering continue to ripple through time, serving as a haunting reminder of humanity's dark side. Topeka State Hospital stands as a stark testament to the unseen horrors of the past, a chilling reminder of the inhumanity that can hide beneath the pretense of care and treatment. As we conclude our exploration, let's pay homage to the countless souls who endured torment here and vow to keep their stories alive. Let this be a lesson to us all, as we navigate a world where unseen horrors may lurk in the shadows. Good night, brave souls, and remember, the unseen often holds the most terrifying tales.